the week I was in Germany, I listened to an audiobook from uh, Michael Singer, The Surrender Experiment. I don't know if you heard of it. Mm -hmm. um, and he explained um, that most of the time he um, did not want to do the things that came up in front of him. But then he just surrendered to the service and like answered, uh, said mostly yes to things. Um, because he know he felt the the it was mostly the ego saying no, or rejecting offers, rejecting um, uh, possibilities to serve. And he had it was a great choice that he made um, to basically say almost to everything yes that came up to him. Um, and out of that, like uh, amazing opportunities and um, um, coincidence and like the right people and everything like un unfolded in an awesome way. So is it then the tendency that we, uh, that the biases are more present most of the time and we're trying to, to, to um, avoid um, life or uh, the service, the true service, more than um, than uh, the other side, the other way around. Repeat the question part. So, because um, so if we have a request from somebody who wants to ask us for help or um, to, to do a certain task. Um, and we feel, ah, no, I don't want to have this, this um, priority and I want to actually do this. This feels more exciting to me. Um, so in my mind, um, I, I created a, a reason why not to do that, not, not to help or not to um, take the opportunity that life gives me or the, the, the chance to serve. Because I think I have to serve in another way. It can be that. It just yeah. depends. There's no formula or hashtag for this. Right. You got to take it on a case by case basis. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, balance love and wisdom. The love to serve and the wisdom to know what's, what's uh, most balanced. So it's not always that. Yeah. You know, you sh I don't think you should say yes to everything. Because yeah. if you say yes to everything, you say no to a lot of other things. Right. And um, just stay open, honest about your own biases. And if you can do that, you'll know what's best. And when you're able to be of service to an opportunity that comes along, and when that is more of a distraction or a reflection from an old belief system that you have to be a martyr that you have to be alone in it or that you have to spread yourself too thin because that's the good thing to do. Those beliefs can also create opportunities. Those can also create challenges or invitations to be of service that will appeal to your better nature, but really they appeal to your conditioning. So it's all a case by case basis. Uh, and often we feel like a victim of the opportunities that come to us like when we engage in spirituality, we become, um, I mean, I, there's something to say for it as well. So it is really case by case basis, depends on the entity and it's up to your free will. You cannot really make a mistake. You can only learn more and more and more. Every situation allows for equal amount of opportunity to be of service, sometimes more unseen, more vibrational, more metaphysical, other times more physical, more action-based. Sometimes opportunities are a great gateway to let go of your biases and to become more one with God, to become more like God, to become more pure in your service, in your understanding, in your consciousness. And sometimes opportunities are echoes of old realities, old conditioning, and they're there to test you, just to see if you will fall for the same energy leakage once again in the name of love or service. And that's the fourth density, naivety or ignorance that needs to be balanced out ultimately at some stage. I mean, it's great if humanity just right now could start being a fully of service in the most active way. 
humanity at large. But it's not relevant for every individual per se, depending on how much you've already woken up, how much you've already pupped your own selfishness bubble. And if you have pupped that to a great degree, then the finer balances of love and wisdom become more available to you and become more appropriate things to choose between. So love and wisdom, definitely in each situation. Yeah, that's cool. makes sense. Yeah. So in this example with the, this audiobook, it was mostly like, um, shown that like the ego said that the, the, the mind said no, but he still said yes, because of some kind of intuition. We should you know, watch Yes Men. Have you seen it? Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. That's a yeah. great movie. <laughs> um, yeah, so that sounds to me like mostly an exercise in fourth density, which is great. It's fantastic, powerful, radical. And I think a lot of people need that type of exercise right now. Um, but it's not complete. Yeah. yeah. Their wisdom is lacking. Thanks. Yeah.